Ông cứ chọc. President, please be seated. Ông mình sẽ bắt cả một tổ các chức năng để tiến hành các cuộc session. Một trận. Le président, reprise de l'audience. Please usher to TCCP 288 in the courtroom. And please invite also the TPO staff. Ông Jim Rasum, Rum Lak Jim Rip Chun, Dor Pekki Jim Rip Thar. President, the chamber wishes to inform all parties that during the line, the questioning of the civil parties in relation to the victim impact statements, I encourage you all to focus your questions on victim impact. Sur l'impact des souffrances endurées par les victimes. And if facts coming out of the statement of sufferings, these facts can be questioned. Ils peuvent également faire l'objet de questions. And Please uh, focus and concentrate uh, your questions on the, those facts uh, arising out of uh, the statements, and uh, you are invited to focus on uh, the statement of the uh, victim as well. There is uh, no way that uh, the trial chamber chambers can include uh, any civil party which have been already admitted uh, by uh, the, the judges. The pre-trial chamber and the co-investigating judges have already decided on the civil party application already. Good morning, uh, Mr. Civil Party. What is your name? Bonjour, Monsieur la Partie Civile. Comment vous appelez-vous? Answer. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, My name is Président. Tan Tim. Je m'appelle Tan Tim. Question, Mr. Tan Tim. Question. When Monsieur were you Tan born? Tim. Quand êtes-vous né? Answer. I was born on the fourth of Je April, suis né 1945. Le Question. Where your current address? Question. Où vivez-vous aujourd'hui? Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Please wait, uh, Mr. Civil Party, for the microphone Et to be activated. Et s'il vous plaît, Monsieur la Partie Civile, veuillez attendre que votre micro soit allumé. Answer. I am living in Tulpongro Village, South Commune, Tiriwong District, in Takao Province. President, thank you very much. What is your current occupation? Le président, merci. Quelle est Answer. votre profession I am a peasant, rice farmer. Réponse, je suis agriculteur. President, what is your father's name Question, comment s'appelle votre père Answer, my father's name is... Réponse, Mein Tan. Il s'appelle Men Tan. And what about your mother What is her name Question, et quel est le nom de votre mère Her name is Prais At. Elle s'appelle Prais At. What is your wife's name and how many children Question. do you have together? Comment s'appelle votre femme et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. My wife's name is. Ma femme s'appelle. Penton. We have six children Nous together. Nous avons six enfants. Question. 
President, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tan Tim. As a civil party in the hearing, uh, the chamber uh, will give the floor to you to make your victim impact statement, which you have uh, experienced as the result of uh, the injuries which uh, have been inflicted upon you, des que vous avez and uh, you will make a uh, victim impact statement as well concerning the crimes that committed by the accused and accused upon. The statement uh, you uh, will be made is re related to the uh, crimes which uh, were committed in the period of uh, 19, uh, April, 17 April 1975 to uh, 6 January 1979. The chamber will now give the floor to the lead co-lawyer to put question to this uh, civil party in relation to the uh, impact that uh, this civil party underwent. You may not proceed. Civil party lawyer. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Mr. Tan Tim. My name is Lao Jun Thi. I am one of the lawyers for civil party. I have several questions in relation to the sufferings that uh, you experienced. My first question is, on the 17th April 1975, where did you live? Civil party, on the 17th of April 1975, I lived in Je the refugee camp in Obaik Om, Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Lawyer, thank you. Merci. On that day, was there any incident happening afterwards? Que s'est-il passé ce jour-là? Answer after the victory of uh, Pol Pot. Après la victoire de Pol Pot. A click. The click de Pol Pot. I was uh, evacuated to live in Swaiwa village, Kampeng Kamloon, Kiribun district, Takao province. Commune de Kampeng, district de Kiribun province. Lawyer, de Takeo. thank you. When you settle in with Swaiwa village, lorsque vous vous êtes installé dans le village de Swaiwa, you were together with your family. You were living there. What kind of work uh, were you assigned to do? Et que deviez-vous faire exactement? Quel était votre travail? Civil party. After the evacuation, upon our arrival. I was asked to do, to do the farming. I was asked to carry out uh, the uh, termi mount swipes and paddle the uh, water wheel. We had uh, six uh, cattle uh, for the uh, ploughing in the in a plot of uh, three hectares land. In a plot of one hectare land, Ou rather. Correction, une parcelle d'un hectare. Thank you very much. Then, in 1976. Question. Ensuite, en 1976. Where did you work? Où avez-vous travaillé?
Answer. Réponse. In 1976, I was uh, Termine Mount Soi and also to paddle the, the water wheel. In 1970, what about in 1978? Question. Et en 1978, Where que were you moved? In what unit were you moved? Dans quelle unité avez-vous été Question placé? by a civil party lawyer. Answer. In 1977, Réponse. I was again evacuated to live in the Oxcard unit. One day, my uh, unit was asked to uh, carry jour, and transport the timber lock at Phnom Poh Tapong. And upon our arrival at 8 p.m., uh, we were asked to unload uh, the timber at our unit. When we were at our units and after we had a gruel Nous, les membres de mon unité ont mangé de la bouillie. we were about to sleep and Nous when sur le point de we dormir. was about to sleep when we was about to lay ourselves on the Nous floor sur le point de nous allonger pour dormir. the unit chief Lorsque came Le chef to de me and asked uh, me, me to join a meeting. De à I une uh, was thinking in my mind that uh, normally the 17th of April Je people principe, had never been called to a meeting. À à After I was called, I uh, came down to, from my house and Lorsque l'on m'a appelé, je suis sorti. Uh, this uh, individual uh, was uh, walking uh, in front of me, and I was following him. I was moi, asked to join a meeting. I arrived at the uh, militia station. Je suis arrivé dans les locaux de la milice. And uh, four of uh, the militia men came out les of uh, the unit. I was uh, held tightly and uh, I was tied up with uh, the string and my hand was tied attaché. to the back of the, my hand Mes was tied my dos. hand was tied uh, behind uh, my back I thought that uh, I would uh, die Je after that time with uh, no uh, guilt Alors que je rien fait. I was uh, bitten I was interrogated uh, where I was asked uh, where I uh, was living before. I was asked to tell the truth. Avant, de dire la they, uh, they asked uh, such question to me immorally. They call me in. Uh, they call me contemptible, and uh, I was asked uh, what I did uh, in Phnom Penh. In my response, I said I uh, was never a former soldier. I was a worker to collect the firewood for sales. Uh, even I was in the refugee camps, I was only a worker there. Uh, after the beatings by uh, one another, the question was 
put on me again and again about uh, my uh, previous occupation, and I was threatened that uh, I would not be released if I did not uh, tell the truth. And once again, I told them that uh, I was only a worker who went to find uh, and collect the firewood for sale. And after bidding and interrogation, I uh, was uh, transported on a horse cart to Onroka area. To Onroka uh, market. Pour aller vers le marché de I believe that the uh, Angleka market was used as the office ce marché of their office at that time. I was kicked and I felt off uh, the horse cart. Été frappé à nouveau. Dû descendre de la charrette. And uh, they told a man by the name Ruo et un homme qui that Ruo. they told uh, uh, Tarouz about me and Tarouz uh, had a beard and mustache. Tarouz uh, took a rifle, AK rifle, il a pris un and asked me uh, to AK walk past uh, the field. I was uh, walking uh, in front of uh, Tarouz. Il m'a demandé de marcher. He was alone at that time. Il était seul. Uh, once again, in my head, I thought that I uh, would be killed with just a shot. And uh, I was uh, walking past the field uh, at west of Angroka Market. À du at that time, I uh, saw a lantern, the light uh, came coming out of a lantern, and I thought lanterne. that that place about the uh, killing sites, there was a hall there. There was a hall there in the uh, prison office, Et and uh, the hall the wall uh, was made out of wood. Tameng was the uh, prison chief. Tameng était le chef de la prison. Uh, Tameng unlocked the door and Tameng I was uh, pushed porte, into the cell. Uh, it was uh, sound of uh, people in the cell. And the light uh, uh, was uh, turned on, the, the lantern that was turned on and uh, Sackles, and sackles were brought in, and I was a sackle to both of my ankles. Aux chevilles, aux deux chevilles. And there was a uh, iron rod uh, putting below the uh, shackle. Il y avait une barre en and fer at that time, uh, uh, my hands uh, were tied behind uh, my back, and I could not uh, shackle myself. Dos, and seeing that, uh, uh, they uh, shackled me with the uh, et, et alors, rod below it. And after I was uh, shackled, uh, my hands uh, were untied. I feel I felt mains. very painful uh, in my hands uh, because I was tied uh, behind uh, my back. I was upset at that time. I uh, did not commit any wrongs. Uh, however, I was taken to be tortured. I was seriously tortured. Only, only if I had guilt, uh, I uh, would dare to accept and admit my guilt. However, as I said, I uh, was not uh, guilty. I was uh, put there day and night without releasing uh, to go anywhere else. I was uh, put in that place for a period of three months. 
for the previous uh, for for the prisoner who had already uh, been there one of your ankle was shackled as for me the no. new prisoner both of my ankle were shackled so it was very hard for me to sleep et eh bien il n'était entravé que par une cheville alors que moi j'étais entravé par les deux chevilles et j'avais donc beaucoup de mal à dormir Counsel, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Civil Party. You stated beaucoup, uh, just now civile. that there was a unit name, unit Où chief. His name was Pon. You mentioned Pond. about the militia men who came to arrest you. So what were their names? Can you tell the court? Answer. Tassé was the Réponse. leader Tassé of the militia men. He was miliciens. quite young at that Il time. And as for, for other militia men, I did not know their names. En revanche, je ne connaissais Counselor. pas le nom des Thank autres miliciens. You. you said Avocat, that merci. after you were arrested and then you were tied and you were ligoté. also bitten. Et vous avez également so what été did they use to beat you? Avec Answer. Quoi été battu? I was uh, bitten Réponse. with the uh, bamboo stick. It's about the size of uh, my lower, pa lower arm. Qui à peu près la so I was uh, bitten with uh, this kind of bamboo stick uh, and I was interrogated. Lawyer, thank you. Question. When you were bitten... You said that uh, they uh, bitten. Vous avez they, uh, battu. You were bitten by one another. So vous dites how did they beat you? Ils étaient plusieurs à vous battre. They ils bit me one after another. Réponse. After Et one, I was tired. Another man came in to beat me. Tu t'es fatigué. Until I uh, passed out. After I uh, got uh, conscious, I uh, was uh, transported to. Uh, I was transported on a horse car to Angroka and detained. I was detained there. Lawyer, how did you know that uh, you were sent to Angroka? So how did you come to know the place? Comment avez-vous appris le nom de cet endroit? Answer. Réponse. At first, I uh, did not know that uh, the place was on Roca. Au départ, je ne savais pas que cet endroit s'appelait Roca. After I uh, was detained within that place. Ensuite, j'ai été détenu là-bas. And after three, three months of my detention. Au bout de trois mois. I knew the place. Uh, since you asked uh, me now about this, I, uh, I am telling you that uh, at first I did not know that the place uh, was on Roca. After Puisque my release, question, I was asked to dig a pond in front of on Roca market. And at that time, I knew that the place was on Roca. Someone told me about this. Lawyer, thank you. You stated merci. that uh, upon your arrival at uh, Angroka, you knew a person by the name May. Uh, this individual May. was the prison chief. Beside him, uh, did you prison. know any other one else? Mais, et mis à part lui, connaissiez-vous quelqu'un d'autre? Answer. Up upon my arrival at the uh, Prison, à mon arrivée dans cette prison, and uh, after the uh, three months in detention, day et and night, uh, détenu, jour et I, nuit during mois, my detention, I uh, did not know anyone. 
but uh, after I was released, I knew Je that Ming was the uh, prison chief, personne. and there was No and Chung. Three of them the were at the prison. Il y avait donc trois dans cette prison. Three of them were working at the prison. Lawyer. Thank you. During the time that you merci. were in Angroka, you said that uh, you were shackled, both of your ankles were shackled. Did only one of your ankles, was only one of your ankles shackled, or were both of your ankles shackled? And what about food ration? How was your food ration? Did anything happen to you during your detention? Were you uh, bitten? While, while you were detained. Vous êtes-il arrivé quoi que ce soit? Avez-vous été à nouveau battu? Answer. When I uh, was detained within that place, Réponse. I was not uh, bitten up. Je pas I was été put battu. in the cell in the prison and I uh, was shackled. I was entrave. not uh, bitten up. As for Mais food ration, as for food ration, I, I had just a few grains of uh, cold rice. Actually, uh, they use the uh, cold rice to cook a uh, a gruel, and I could, have, I could have, I could have the gruel all made out of uh, a few rice grain only. Counsel, thank you very much. You said that uh, uh, both of your ankles were shackled. So how long were you shackled? Combien de temps avez-vous été How painful or was it? And uh, did you sustain any wound or injury on your uh, ankles as the result of uh, your you were being uh, sacked? Civil party. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Civil Party lawyer. I was uh, in the prison for a certain period of time, and they used the iron rock uh, uh, combined with the shackle to detain to me. The old prisoner uh, was released to work uh, while I was uh, being detained. And uh, I was shackled with the iron rod uh, put uh, below the, my ankle. Then they uh, used the iron rod to put in the ring of the shackle, and uh, it missed. They missed the ring, and the iron rod uh, hit my ankle. I was uh, bleeding at that time. It was so hurt. There was, um, there was no medicine uh, to uh, cure uh, my wound. And the injury sustains uh, till today. If you do not believe me, I can uh, show you. And as of today, if I am sitting for too long, uh, my Alors ankle si would uh, be swelling. Counsel, thank you. Merci. When you were shackled, and as you said, they didn't pay attention or didn't care about you. And when they inserted or removed the iron rod, it inflicted wound on your ankle. Can you uh, tell the court about the pain that you suffered during that time? Answer. The pain inflicted upon me at that time was indescribable. I didn't think that I could survive. 
ne pensait pas à y survivre. I suffered the pain physically and emotionally. Physiquement et aussi émotionnellement. We could not even relieve ourselves properly. On ne pouvait même pas se soulager. And comme since il faut. I was born, I never experienced uh, such a pain until the time of the Khmer Rouge regime. Le régime des Khmer Rouge. We were put into row, uh, feet to feet. En rang, pied à pied. And the female was uh, placed on uh, one row. Les femmes and the male prisoners uh, were put on another row and there was a footpath uh, in the middle and it was very, very difficult for us uh, to relieve ourselves. There was a, a pot for us to relieve in and then we had to adjust ourselves and our ankle in order to be able to uh, put the container underneath uh, to relieve uh, oneself. And as I just said, I thought I, I would die. And in fact, uh, one prisoner who was uh, nearby me died from the lack of food and his body remains there for two nights and three days before it was removed. And he died, as I said, uh, due to uh, hunger. His name was Pat. He was just lying next to me before he died. And that also made me think that I, my turn would come soon. Counsel, thank you. And facing such a horrible condition in the prison, as you just described, and I asked when you were put into that detention building, were there other prisoners there before you were put into that building? And if so, were, there, were they all males, females, or were there any children detained? Answer. In that uh, building, there were uh, female prisoners, and as I described, uh, female prisoners were put into a row, and we, the male prisoners, were put into another row, and we were fit to fit. And from my recollection, there were about 10 male prisoners, and there were roughly about 10 female prisoners. There was another female prisoner she was shackled and she had a young baby whom she breastfed and I did not know the reason for her detention. I could not imagine why she was detained there with her young baby. Counsel, thank you. After you were arrested and placed uh, in the detention building, was your wife or family members informed of your arrest? Answer. My family members did not know anything about uh, my arrest. Not even uh, neighbors. De ma famille ne rien de mon when they même, noticed that I disappeared, they thought that I uh, died. Que disparu, ils ont cru que mort. But incidentally, I uh, met a young woman. Mais she was asked to femme. go and work at the uh, two crew. Canal, and she saw me carrying uh, dirt near the road as I was asked to dig uh, to carry the earth in order to dig 
that place to build a pond, and I was ordered to carry three cubic meters of earth per day. And when she saw me carrying dirt from building a pond, she talked to me briefly, but besides that, I had no any contact with my family members or with anybody else. Counsel, thank you. Did you lose any family members during that regime? Or did you lose any uh, property, uh, namely your house? Or did you suffer from any emotional harm? Avez-vous souffert émotionnellement? Answer. Of course. Uh, the last did happen. As for the property, I did not bring along uh, much when we were forced to leave Phnom Penh. And then all the property that I had was uh, confiscated, and when I was put into the prison, the only thing I had was just a, a pant and a shirt that I was wearing. Counsel, thank you. And uh, finally, Do you wish to uh, make any statement enfin, or you wish to faire une déclaration? raise any, uh, or do you have any request for the chamber? Souhaitez-vous présenter une quelconque requête à la chambre? Civil Party. I have two questions. Réponse that I'd like uh, to put to the uh, two accused in their capacity the as the leaders uh, of that regime. regime. Council interrupts. Mr. Civil Party, if you wish to make si a request or to put a question to the accused, question, you need to make it through the president of the chamber. Civil Party. My request is for the judges and the officials of the court to find me a justice. Je voudrais demander aux de la cour de faire justice, de rendre la justice. First of all, I suffered physical injury, and my health is not as strong as uh, it's supposed to be. And the important thing is for, for you, for the, the, the bench, to find me justice. Counsel, you haven't answered my question. Uh, Previous question asked whether you lost any family members during the regime. Civil Party. My family uh, members survived. And when the ammunition warehouse exploded, we were uh, released. And when the Vietnamese uh, entered uh, Cambodia, then they did not uh, monitor us uh, anymore. Nous alors plus and I did not uh, lose any family members. Je pas perdu de membres de ma famille. Counsel, thank you. L'avocat, je vous remercie. 
and I just uh, said that you, if you have any questions to be put to the accused, you can do that through the dire, president si of the uh, posées, chamber. If you have uh, any uh, question. Bad, uh, bad. party. La partie civile. I have uh, two questions. The f first question is questions. the following. La première est la suivante. Do you, the two accused, acknowledge that there was a security center at Angroka? I was detained there, and that is the truth. I did not fabricate this story. And my second question is the following. Do you do you accept the responsibility la and can you explain about the crimes that were uh, committed? These are the two questions that I have. Voilà Council, thank you. And I don't have Je any further questions, Mr. President. Question, le President. Uh, President. Le President. The Chamber wishes to inform Mr. Tantim that Tan Tim. after ascertaining the position of both accused on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the right to remain silent, the Chamber notes that the two accused maintained their express position unless and until such time the Chamber is expressly informed otherwise by the co-accused or their counsels. It is therefore incumbent upon them to inform the chamber in a timely and if efficient manner should the accused resolve to waive the right to remain silent and be willing to respond to questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the proceedings. However, as of today, the Chamber is not informed that the co-accused have changed their express position and thus agreed to provide their responses to questions. And I'd like to uh, inform Mr. Uh, Tantim uh, about uh, the questions that you put uh, to the accused. And I'd like now to hand the floor to the uh, co-prosecutor to put a question to this uh, civil party regarding the statement of uh, suffering and harms. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, à titre d'information, nous aurons just to let you know, we will have quite a few questions to put uh, regarding two topics in particular. First, his detention at Angroka, which he just spoke about, and also then his transfer from Kirivong District to Tramkak District. Uh, President Koravisa, could you check with the AB unit about the uh, interpretation system? Audiovisuel, que l'interprétation fonctionne. President, the Deputy International Co-Prosecutor, uh, you can resume. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. As I was saying, uh, we will have quite a few questions to put to the civil party regarding essentially two topics. His detention. President, uh, there is no interpretation at all. Uh, could the court officer please uh, check with the AB unit?
Deputy International Co. Prosecutor, please switch to another microphone. Don't use that one. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Donc, you, Mr. President. Que, As I was saying, contrary to the other civil parties uh, durant ces deux journées, who uh, are... Pour les... who... No, 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 that don't have President, I think there is still a technical glitch. President, apparently the problem technique is not resolved. Voilà. Mr. President, no, now everything is working. Donc, As I was saying, contrary to the other civil parties who are speaking very briefly jours, during uh, these two days, Tan Team, Tan Team présente, who is here present today, poser, will be questioned sujets, at length in particular regarding two topics, his detention. Sa détention à la prison d'Angroca, ainsi que as son well transfert as du district de Kirivong vers celui de Tramcac. District to Tramcac district. Et donc, j'anticipe ne pas pouvoir so, finir avant la pause de heures et demie. Je vais rebondir sur ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure. Je vais rebondir sur ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure. Et vous avez parlé de la prison d'Angroca. Et vous avez parlé de la prison d'Angroca. Je vais President Councilor Coppe, do you have the floor? Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I think I um, would agree with um, uh, the co-prosecutor in the sense that I think this is a potentially very interesting witness who could tell us uh, many things about um, his experiences. Um, and I have actually no objection uh, in itself to uh, the intended questions uh, from the, the prosecution. However, if we can now all agree uh, in this courtroom that uh, we are far away going from hearing a civil party simply on victim impact, then I would be happy uh, and then we can just treat this uh, civil party uh, who is giving very interesting testimony as a proper witness uh, and um, so we can all agree on this. This is actually my point. Um, we're not talking anymore about civil impact at all. We're talking about a very interesting witness who, who could give a uh, very interesting testimony. President and the international deputy co-prosecutor, you can proceed. And in fact, the chamber reminded all the parties this morning that we have limited time to hear the statement of impact, and it will only happen today and tomorrow. So frame your questions accordingly, and we still have six more civil parties to go through. Merci. Uh, Thank you. Voilà, première question, My first question, civil. 
Je n'ai pas entendu tout à l'heure de réponse à ce sujet-là. Quand vous avez été arrêté alors que vous étiez dans la commune de Trappingtong, de quoi avez-vous été accusé Quand vous avez été arrêté dans la commune de Trappingtong, de quoi avez-vous été accusé Quand vous avez été arrêté dans la commune de Trappingtong, de quoi avez-vous été accusé Quand vous avez été arrêté dans la commune de Trappingtong, de quoi avez-vous été accusé Quand vous avez été arrêté dans la commune de Trappingtong, de quoi avez-vous été accusé Quand vous avez été arrêté dans la commune de Trappingtong, de quoi avez-vous été Because my elder daughter was in the unit and she ran away together with Ian Jane, who testified before me. In fact, they stole a sugar cane from the unit, and she was arrested and beaten. And she was forced to uh, confess that I was a former uh, lieutenant in Phnom Penh, and because uh, she was young, she just uh, confessed so. And then I was uh, arrested for that uh, reason. Merci pour cette réponse. Thank you for this answer. Je voudrais préciser avec vous la période de votre arrestation et la période de votre détention. Tout à vous avez dit, vous avez With regard été to the mois, period of your detention, the period of your arrest, you said that you were detained for three months. So did you remain at Anroka prison until the Vietnamese arrived? When the Vietnamese uh, réponse, arrived and uh, fought against the Khmer Rouge, then the ammunition Rouge, depot uh, alors, got caught in a fire and exploded. Le dépôt de munitions a pris feu et a explosé. D'accord, c'est comme ça que vous avez pu, à ce moment-là, sortir. And that is how you um, were able to run away. Est-ce que vous êtes certain que vous êtes resté trois mois Are you sure you stayed for three months there? Auriez-vous pu rester plus longtemps Or maybe you stayed longer Moins longtemps d'ailleurs. Or for for a shorter period of time. Khi ông chịu áp cúp, à chịu áp cúp nâng cái tàu về, mình mệt bay khai đấy. Khi ông về, not for exactly three months. When I said I was there for three months, it means when I was there day and night for three months. And of course, prisoners were not allowed to uh, to be detained freely. We were let out to work in the field. Initially, I was detained day and night in the building for three months, and after the three-month period, uh, May questioned or interrogated me again uh, about where I was during the 70, 72, 74, and 75, and I responded accordingly, and after the three-month period, I was late to work outside in the field. And this does not mean I was released after my, the three-month detention. I was detained in 1978 until the time the uh, Vietnamese uh, attacked. À peu près combien de temps avez-vous été détenu so, sous ce régime où vous travailliez You were detained uh, for about how long, long according to this uh, system when you were detained vous dans cette during the day and at night. So for how long did you remain in that situation? The total of my detention actually started from 1978, and I was put in the detention building day and night for three months. Then those who were detained previously. Uh, were let out to work during the daytime and then they were brought back into the building at night time. And one day when those uh, previous uh, prisoners were let out to work in the morning, then uh, May interrogated me and after the interrogation period was over, then I was allowed uh, to, uh, to go and work outside. 
and allow me to speak uh, freely and truthfully here. Initially, when I was uh, allowed to work outside, I was asked to carry water to uh, water the uh, vegetable near the prison building. And at that time, I did not have any thong uh, to wear. I walked uh, barefoot, and it was uh, very painful since it was uh, very hot. But because I wanted to survive, so I uh, worked hard by watering the vegetable. Uh, nearby the prison building, I went to carry the water from a pond uh, nearby. Well, to conclude with regard to this period, can you tell me if it's so that you stayed at Androka for several months while uh, being detained at night? At night time, we were put back into the detention building and we were circled. And only during the, day, the daytime that we were let out to work. And in the evening, then we were put back and circled in the building. Merci. Alors, je reviens sur Thank votre, you. Le processus Now, qui vous a I would like à to go back to the whole process that brought you to Anroka. You said that you arrived at Anroka Market, and you were given to, entrusted to someone E3 by the name Ro in a document E3-5034. On page 2, you said un chef that Ro was a militia chief. Comment avez-vous su son nom how did you get to know his name? And how did you get to understand uh, his uh, position? I did not know whether he was the military chief at the district level or at another level, but I saw him carrying an AK-47 rifle. Was he the one who told you that his name was Ro, or was it someone else who uh, told you that? At the beginning, I did not know that was his name, but after I had stayed there during the day and night time, and then when I was allowed to work during the daytime, I was told about his name. Merci. Est-ce que c'est ce même Pro qui vous a accompagné à Angroka ou c'était quelqu'un d'autre Pro qui a accompagné à vous à Angroka ou quelqu'un d'autre Le commune uh, or from the village where I stayed was Sey, not Ru. And I was uh, taken from the village and then I was handed over to Taru. And let me say, uh, Sey, who was a commune militia man, took me uh, to Taru. And Taru, uh, from my understanding, was probably at a uh, commune militia level and then he had an AK-47 rifle with me and he brought me, took me into the detention building. President, uh, thank you, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, and thank you, Mr. Civil Party. It is time for a uh, recess. We will recess now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. And court officer, please assist the Civil Party 
during the uh, lunch break and invite him as well as the TPO uh, staff uh, to the uh, courtroom this afternoon at 1.30 and security personnel you are started to take Kiss and Pawn back into the waiting room downstairs and have him back into the courtroom this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.